James Harden has cemented his place on the Mount Rushmore of three-point shooting. The Philadelphia 76ers recently acquired all-star past Pacers great Reggie Miller for third all-time on the list with a step-back three over Kyrie Irving in the first quarter of Thursday night's marquee matchup. A game that Miller was providing the color commentary for on TNT. After draining his 2,651st three-pointer, Harden now trails only Ray Allen and Steph Curry for most made all-time. The shot came in a primetime game against Harden's former team, the Brooklyn Nets. The Wells Fargo Center was packed with fans. Celebrities sprinkled in amongst the raucous crowd. The star power of these two lineups paired with the compelling storyline of the Harden for Ben Simmons trade had everybody interested in this. We were fixated on it for a week. Harden had asked for this. He basically said as much publicly. He was in it now with a career accomplishment in the mix. 76er fans and hoop heads all across the nation were tuned in to see what Harden and MVP candidate Joel Embiid could do together in the first major challenge as teammates. The early three was the sole bright spot of Harden's otherwise abysmal first half. It was the only basket he made in the first quarter. The second wasn't much better as Harden shot two for nine in that period. He finished the game with just 11 points on three of 17 shooting from the floor. Harden also had six rebounds and five assists in the effort, but the Nets routed the 76ers in front of the Philadelphia faithful following the strong first half of Kevin Durant. The Nets forward scored 18 of his game-high 25 points in the first half. Kyrie Irving was again a key factor in this win. The part-time point guard added 22 points and five assists in the win. Not to be outdone, Seth Curry made his triumphant return to Philly by cooking up 24 points on 10 of 14 shooting. The 76ers were led by Joel Embiid who scored 27 points off mainly free throws and grabbed 12 rebounds in the loss. Tobias Harris, George Nyang, and DeAndre Jordan each scored in the double digits as well. It was fitting that Reggie Miller was in attendance on the night that he was passed on this leaderboard, sliding into fourth all-time. Like many who grew up in his era, Harden idolized Miller. Miller has always been gracious in these moments, choosing to embrace and congratulate those that break his record. Thursday night was no different, as the greatest pacer in NBA history donned a 76ers jersey, announcing Harden's accomplishment and showed it off to the arena to a shower of applause. Many fans will dismiss this accomplishment due to the changes in playstyle over the years that has allowed more room and attempts for shooters. Miller, thought for years to be the sharpshooter of the 90s, only averaged 4.7 three-point attempts per game during his career. Compare that to Harden, who holds a career average of 6.6 .6 attempts per game and has averaged over 10 attempts per game at times. When it's all said and done, while Harden may not be thought of as a pure shooter in the same way that his counterparts on this list have, he has without a doubt earned his spot in history. Barring any unfortunate injury, Harden seems poised to eclipse Allen as well before his playing days are over. Curry's spot at the top will almost certainly be untouchable until a new generation gets a crack at it, but second out of all time ain't bad. Thursday night was no celebration for Philly fans as the near 30 point beatdown has soured the event altogether. 76ers faithful must be hoping that the immediate slump following the broken record was nothing more than an off night. Congratulations are due to the beard no matter the outcome. Fans of the league can debate the legitimacy of modern records as long as they want, 
but the talent and longevity required for Harden to reach this peak cannot be disputed. Congratulations, Beard. You've earned it. And that is it. Thank you again for tuning in. Please like and subscribe if you would. Or dislike and comment. Tell me what you'd like to see differently or where I was wrong. And we will see you in the next one. Peace.